Welcome to e-learning platform an initiative by science park today we are going to learn part 2 of infectious diseases and community health today's sub topics are prevention of infectious diseases vaccination public health service facilities and community health importance of community health let us prevention of infectious diseases so if you have pink eye or conjunctivitis will you go to school no pink eye spreads through direct contact so you should not touch anyone if you are having pink eye and if you rub your eyes with the same hand let us start with prevention of infectious diseases usually the water is purified at water treatment plant but in smaller towns and villages where there is a community source of water what can be done bleaching powder is added to such sources of water to kill the germs also if there is an epidemic of gastro or jaundice people are advised to boil the water before drinking it what to do if the disease is spread because of mosquitoes we must ensure that there is no stagnant water in surroundings which is in such instruments or in such sources we must remove all such stagnant water other infectious diseases which spread through air like tuberculosis swine flu covid-19 people are quarantined there are separate wards in hospitals so what one must do as all of us know you should cover your mouth while coughing or sneezing avoid touching each other not spitting on the ground even in the tuberculosis the spit is actually collected in the vessel and it is covered with a germicide which with a germicide like phenyl now the precaution is always taken that clothes and utensils are thoroughly washed using some such germicides these are few ways by which we can avoid spread of diseases through air not touching each other using different gestures is always encouraged wearing mask is a must in such cases even in school if anyone gets cold or influenza or swine flu one must always cover the nose with mask there are different measures taken by government like arogya setu app which one must download and report if one is having the infection so government health department should be informed so that necessary steps for preventing the spread of disease can be taken let us start with vaccination so when germs attack us all of us do, do not get disease because our immune system fights with these germs when our immune system is weak we may get that disease so after the baby is born it is given tuberculosis vaccine 
when the baby is 1 and 1/2 months old she is given vaccination against diphtheria whooping cough tetanus and polio the vaccine for diphtheria whooping cough and tetanus are combined into a triple vaccine and given as an injection whereas polio vaccine is given orally let us start with public health service facilities so to prevent the spread of infectious diseases and epidemics national health programs are always conducted at national level national health mission works towards it community programs for vaccination are also undertaken as a part of national health schemes primary health centers have been established at village levels there are also facilities like mobile dispensaries ambulances which can be availed by people in the villages also media plays very important role in educating people about right me- methods of handling drinking water and food so let us start with community health all of us form a community nutritious food personal hygiene exercise and hobbies will provide us excellent health and good personal development so everyone has right to get a clean environment which is free of squalor free of epidemics no addictions and no insect borne diseases these all are threats to the community health so to nurture the community health is to protect the general public from such diseases and to make a happy and healthy life possible for all so the people of the country are the most important factor in country's progress all of us have right to have nutritious food clean environment clean water health facilities therefore all of us are always urged in every possible way to keep our surroundings clean spitting is an legal offense you should not spit in public places the aim of this is to prevent the spread of disease let us start with threats to the health of communities now we will perform one activity you have to list all these following activities in your notebook and then decide whether they are right or wrong by marking a cross and also write an explanation in your notebook spitting anywhere on the road using public toilets looking after domestic animals washing your hands before a meal or snack throwing the garbage from your house onto the road also add few more such activities activities which form a threat to the health of the community so now topics for next session are wholesome living tobacco consumption effects of tobacco addiction alcoholism 
ड्रग्स टोबैको एंड अल्कोहल यूज थैंक यू